attention they so richly deserve. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, tennis, for instance, I am sure you were watching much of this I as was. well. Uh, Novak Djokovic uh, continuing to make history, uh, a straight sets and uh, a fairly straightforward victory over Daniil Medvedev last night. Uh, Djokovic winning the U.S. Open. Uh, it was his 24th Grand Slam title of his career, Jill, more than any player in the Open era. And after the match, uh, Djokovic put on a blue t-shirt honoring the late basketball great Kobe Bryant. Uh, Kobe was close, a uh, close friend. We, we chatted a lot about, uh, you know, winner's mentality. When I was struggling, you know, with the injury and trying to make my comeback, he was always there for any kind of counsel, advice, any kind of support. I thought, you know, 24 is the jersey that he wore when he became a legend of Lakers and, and world basketball, so I thought, you know, it could be a nice symbolic thing to uh, to acknowledge him. Bryant's widow, Vanessa, congratulated Djokovic with an Instagram post that read, Real recognizes real with the hashtag Mamba mentality. Now, a Canadian got in on the history making yesterday as well, Jill. Ottawa's Gabby Dabrowski and her partner, Aaron Routliff, who grew up in Caledon, uh, won the women's doubles event. I love this story. Isn't it great? Yeah. yeah. I mean, and this year altogether it hasn't been easy for many players from Canada. So Dabrowski's triumph, uh, a high note to go out on. She is a former Grand Slam mixed doubles winner uh, and becomes the first player from this country since Daniel Nestor to win. Uh, that she's getting paid yeah. for all this. Uh, women's doubles pays a lot more than mixed doubles. She and Routliff will split a prize worth around a million Canadians. So not bad at all. She's been playing for a long while, Gabby Dabrowski. Let's shift to soccer, where there's big news out of Spain. Yeah, the head of the Spanish Soccer Federation, Luis Rubiales, has resigned. Some might say finally resigned. It has been three weeks, after all, since he kissed the captain of his country's women's team, Jenny Hermoso, on the lips after she led Spain to the World Cup title. And while Rubiales argued it was consensual, Hermoso said it was anything but, and later launched a sexual assault lawsuit against him, Rubiales, Jill, announced his resignation on the Piers Morgan show. Yes, I'm going to. I'm going to. Do the yes, I'm going to. Yes, because I cannot continue my work. I spoke with some friends, very, very close to me. Uh, and they say to me, Luis, 